up? It's Sabado morning. And I'm in Boulder. And there's a flat irons and it's awesome. Um, I'm waiting for the cafe to open. Gluten free pancakes right over here. Shout out to Dots Diner in Boulder. There's one in Nederland too. Um, I don't know what I want to talk about really. I have time I'm, and I feel like I'm wasting. I have 15 minutes till they open and I'm like, oh, they're opening soon. What am I going to do with these 15 minutes? They're wasted. I was going to read, but I thought I'll make a video. And so Saturday mornings, the gym doesn't open until 8. Dot's Diner opens at 8. It's a gluten-free pancakes day, so I make a priority. I showered last night. and uh, But I woke up at 6.30, and I was trying to go back to sleep, but I couldn't. So I've just been fucking off all morning. I brush my teeth and stuff. So one thing I'm dealing with is solar is my this thing here sucks the life out of my battery. Um not that big of a deal if I remember to plug it back, plug the solar in. Here's the thing, I have an adapter to charge off of the car while I'm driving. So it's not the car really, it's the alternator. Boom. Plug it in while I'm making my commute. I get a lot more wattage, input wattage uh, going in when I'm driving than the solar panel provides ever. Um, So I take advantage of the alternator running while I'm driving and I plug it in. When I get to work, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be there for nine, eight hours. Um, I push, put the solar panel, hook the solar panel back up and it's squared away in the evening and I'm good for another day. Problem is, is sometimes I forget to plug in the solar panel. So it sits for eight hours and the refrigerator runs and sucks out the battery um, and then I have to spend a whole day trying to catch up it's kind of a pain in the ass so two things I'm contemplating happen my big box um, my Thule rooftop or whatever you want. I've heard all kinds of damn names they call these things. Um, I don't really touch anything that's in there. Not a whole lot anyways. So what I have in there is some um, books, complete guide to primitive eating, some weight loss books in there. Um, those are pretty much garbage <laughs> they're not garbage but I'm not walking around trying to be this they're still good books but I'm definitely not walking around trying to be this uh, health and wellness guy anymore so I don't need my books I don't need to try and sell them I don't need to, to um, well, I was, well, I was going around to natural grocers at the time, and I would sell my books as I gave my talks. <laughs> but I'm not doing it anymore. So those don't need to be up there. The December will be two years, and I made a toilet, and it's up there, and I've never used a toilet, all right? Um, there is a table up there and a chair up there which the only time I used it was in January of 16 when I went to Rocky Point and I wanted to reserve my spot at this camp site so I put out the table and the chair so, so that when I drove off my spot would still be there that was 
so that makes it almost two years since I've used it. Let's be honest, it's not two years yet. December will be two years, but I can't say 18 months anymore. Let me see. 18 months would have been May. May, June is 19, July is 20. Should I just say 20 months? August is 21. I don't know. Nearly two years. I'm just going to say nearly two years for the next three months. And then in December, I will say two years. Okay? So I haven't used it in, near, in the nearly two years that I've been on the road. Uh, the things that are, are up there that I do use and need are my two sleeping bags, my saw, and my shovel. Those I've used on occasion, it's nice to have. I could find some room in here, I think. I have an entire drawer full of camping stuff that I haven't touched. You know, I have all this camping gear. I just haven't used any of it. Um, I don't know how often I'll be cutting wood again, though, either. But there's no way. I love that saw. There's no way I'm getting rid of it. Um, sleeping bags. And then there is a backpack that has some winter gear in it has a down jacket that I didn't wear I was so oh there are some there is some winter gear up there coveralls coveralls that I've I went ice fishing I guess two winters ago I wore them I haven't worn them since. I have my Carhartt jacket. I'm not sure why I bought that, but it's good to have. That takes up a lot of space. And there's a down jacket that I didn't wear all last winter because I had this Carhartt jacket. Um, So that will be requiring some space. I'll have to go through some stuff because honestly there's like a pot for boiling water I haven't touched in nearly two years. There's a couple, there's a little bunch of things in the storage. That I really don't have a really haven't touched or used in quite some time or on this trip ever <laughs> anyways the other thing is that I have uh, so it, oh no, that's the point if I sell this topper get rid of the gear that's in there sell it I'll have room to put another solar panel and I'll charge this stupid thing faster this Yeti 400 here, it's not that it's not keeping keeping up. It's that the solar panel is not keeping up. The solar panel is not giving this. I haven't put a load on this thing since in nearly two years. Uh, so now that it has one, I am realizing that the 100 watt panel is not giving this no juice. If I have two 100 watt panels, I think it will supply plenty of juice for this. It will be able to keep up. And I won't have to worry about charging it while I drive. <clears throat> In blazing hot sun, this 100 watt panel will only pull like 54. Right now it's pulling 13. So the max that this can handle at one time is 120 watts, according to the little book here. But I need two 100 watt panels in order to get to two to 120 watts. Like I'll never go past it. I don't. Th I've never seen this panel provide more than 54 watts or maybe 64 watts. And so the reason I'm talking this all out. I don't even know if you care, but I'm talking this all out. 
the reason the good the other good thing besides um besides being able to put another panel on the roof is I will reduce my clearance down to like uh, six feet ten inches which means I'll be able to get into the parking garage at work which means I'll be able to park on the roof um, they eliminated my parking spot on the street which was legitimate street parking. I wasn't breaking any laws, but they eliminated those parking lots in, uh, in Central City where I work. So the past couple of days, I haven't really had a place to park. Um, I found one, I found a couple spots, but if I can get to the, the, get to the parking garage, I can park in the parking garage if I want, or I can make it all the way to the top and park on the roof sun exposure, refrigerator, boom, everything I need. The only thing, or the other thing that I'm tossing back and forth or up in the air is, will I winter in this van? I was hoping I'd find a vieja before winter. But things aren't picking up really as far as social life. So maybe I'll stick another, stick it out through another winter alone. I don't know, folks, I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to live my life, I guess. I could never do that before because I only have one phone and my music plays through my phone, so it... But now I have one phone hooked up and one phone that I'm recording on. Don't look at my bald ass head. I need to get a haircut. That's what happens when the more hair I grow, the more balder I look. It gets to come off. That's all I do on weekend is do stuff that I don't have time to do during the week. Okay, that's it. Things are changing. I'm not going to be spending so much time in the woods. I have to accommodate for the winter. I have to lower my clearance. Clarence. Uh, a big sprinter, Dodge Sprinter, was what's in my mind, but I'm realizing that uh, I'm really not sure where I'm going to park. Um, having all wheel drive will be nice getting to work in the winter um, and if I can suck it up through the winter that's just that much more money I'm, I'll, I'll be able to save if I can suck it up through winter that means I can make it to next winter save money and then maybe I can get the 4x4 Sprinter in the size that I want and I don't have to worry about shit I don't know. My other option is to sell this one and then buy a cheap intermittent ver sprinter van. We'll see. We'll see, folks. We'll see. 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 All right. Good free pancakes time, folks. I'm going to go in here and... I had a little bit of announcement that I completely forgot to make. I'll make it later. Peace.